What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at the Hoka Bondi 8. Bondi? Bondi? Yeah, I don't know. It's big, it's bulky, uh, not so beautiful. Hoka, Bondi 8. So let's talk about the price point for the Bondi 8. It comes in at $165, and on Hoka's website, they offer four different color schemes. They offer Goblin Blue, Black, Puffins Bill, and Shark Skin. Fascinating names of their color schemes. So regarding the specs of the shoe for a men's 10 and a half for the Bondi 8, we have 11.6 ounces or 328 grams. And for the heel to toe drop, we have 33 millimeters in the heel, 29 in the forefoot, giving us a four millimeter heel to toe drop on the Bondi 8. So as Hoka has called this shoe, the ultra cushioned game changer. This shoe has had significant updates to it. So let's talk about the upper on this shoe. Hoka says that they're providing an amplifying breathability, meaning with the new engineered mesh, this mesh is lighter. It's gonna be a lot more breathable, um, a little bit more, um, more flexible than the previous versions, such as the seven or the six. And I noticed that would, uh, that was true. So being in Las Vegas, super hot outside, uh, I did get a, a good bit of breathability as I took it outside for a run. Um, I noticed in conjunction with the amplifying breathability, the pillowed tongue that is used here. So that helped me to get a pretty decent lockdown on the shoe um, as, I, as I tied it down. But the um, tongue is, if you can see that, super thick and they call it a pillowed tongue. Um, and it is used in conjunction with the amplifying breathability of the engineered mesh, according to Hoka. That is one thing I wanted to talk about on the update of the uh, pillowed tongue, so to speak, is it is a partially, sim uh, yeah, partially gusseted tongue, and the tongue is super thick, and as you can see right here, we have the laces that run through the tongue to keep the tongue from falling down, but um, definitely, a, definitely a good update as far as the, the thickness, the cushion of the tongue, right there. So one update that Hoka says, they have a memory foam collar back here on the hill. If you take a look at this thing, it is super, it, that is a memory foam collar right there if I've ever seen one. This thing will kind of grab a hold of the, your Achilles and just give it a good little kiss right back there and uh, help you not run, rub raw. Gives you a good little smooch. According to Hoka, something that is new on the Bondi 8 is an ultra resilient foam. They said this is their lightest, softest foam that they have. And um, let's see, if you could just see, it is super, super um, flexible, super plush. So ultra resilient foam. It's their lightest foam that they have possible and they put in to their most cushioned shoe. So if you're on your feet a lot, um, definitely these shoes would be helpful for you. Um, everyday running, everyday walking, if you're on your feet, highly def highly recommend these things. I mean, as I squeeze them, they're just, it's like a trampoline. Super plushy. This is definitely a plushy shoe. Definitely a plushy shoe. And it's because of the new foam that they installed on the Bondi 8. Hoka's description of the Bondi 8 is there is a extended heel on the Bondi 8 and or a rear crash pad as they say for the description on here a rear crash pad um, helps with this wonderful transition of the um, little uh, rocker meta rocker that they got going on here um, very good addition all right if you look really close you can see a lot of the grooves that we have going on in here uh, so in conjunction with the super light foam they have the extended heel 
which provides a lot of a lot of uh, cushion for those heel strikers, but also a good transition over um, into a good good run. And as we flip the shoe over, we see the Durabrasion rubber outsole. Now you can see the shoe does not just have the EVA foam, but it also has the Durabrasion rubber outsole. So this outsole and the rubber that is used here is to prevent wear and tear. Now on most Hoka shoes, you don't really have this type of rubber outsole, so the shoes can wear down uh, pretty quick. Let's see, so if we pick up the, um, let's say the Mach 4s, if you see, there is no rubber outsole, um, durabrasion outsole, but right here we have it. So this prevents the wear and tear on the shoes. Uh, if you're running, if you're walking, if you're on your feet all day, this will definitely um, increase the longevity of the shoe. And last but not least, we have the little pull tab. This little baby pull tab. Just, just like that. Just a tiny little pull tab for a really big old shoe. So yeah, that is it. The Hoka Bond 8. So in summary, with a new amplifying breathability due to a new engineered mesh upper, we have the memory foam heel collar, we have the updates on the thick tongue pillow, we have the extended heel, we have the new resilient lightweight foam, we have the Durabrasion rubber outsole, and we have our little bitty pull tab. Not bad, Hoka. Not bad. So let's talk about all the things I like and the things I dislike about the Hoka Bondi 8. So, for starters, the things that I do like. I do like the cushion. I love the plushness of the shoe. It feels like I'm walking on clouds, which is literally Hoka's slogan. We're on clouds. Uh, I really like that. Uh, secondly, I enjoyed the breathability of the shoe. Um, it was very breathable to be as big as it is. Um, overall, it was a decent ride. I say decent ride and I'll explain in just a minute. Things I disliked about the Bondi 8. Um, I don't really like the, the weight of the shoe. And I know guys, it's a big shoe and it's primarily for everyday comfort, walking, um, but it's a big shoe. I mean, coming in for a minute and a half at 11.6 ounces or 328 grams, it's just a big bulky shoe. And so if you're like me, I like running in the uh, Hoka uh, Mach 4s or 5s or the Endorphin Speed or Pro uh, versions. Those are lighter shoes that, that provide a good energy return. So these shoes for their size do provide a good energy return, but the, the problem is it's like I'm wearing big um, cloud bricks on my feet. They're, they're just really big and really bulky. Of course, the lightweight foam um, did help, and it actually provided uh, a decent amount of energy return, but it was just a really heavy, bulky shoe for me. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you found the content helpful on the Hoka Bondi 8. If you would, do me a favor, hit this like button right over here, subscribe to the channel, remember to turn the notifications on, and comment down below. I want to hear back from you. Have you ran in the Bondi 8? What do you like? What do you not like about it? I want to hear from you. And as always, guys, until next time, aim high.